I'm Anton van Bremen. I work for TomTom. Tom. I'm a program manager for uh, for the business that we do here. I I've been here for four years now. TomTom Tom is a, has a very important automotive branch. We make embedded navigation systems for yeah, building into the vehicle. The U.S. is a very important market for us. If you talk about cars, then Detroit is the city where everything happens. The big car manufacturers that are typically American are based here. It, it makes sense for us to be here and to be close to our customers and to also expand our, our, our network and our customer base into the U.S. and globally. I think the U.S. is a very competitive country, market, um, so if you want to be successful here, you need to be ready to fight for it, right? It doesn't come automatically. They don't give the business to you because they like you. It needs to be because you have a very good product. Yeah, that's ingrained in the, in the American culture. They, they teach it here in school. Sports are very important. Winning is very important. And it's informal, but it is hierarchical. It is important that you know who you're dealing with here. In the Netherlands, we are used to a little bit more of a flat culture. Dutch are there, we're more informal. And I think that is something that we share with the American. You know, we, we, we communicate smoothly and easily with, uh, with the typical American. We share an interest in innovation. Americans like to think about uh, new ideas, new opportunities, new chances. The American system is a lot more bureaucratic than uh, the Dutch. Those are not uh, to be underestimated challenges. And I think the most important part that I definitely underestimated is the importance of credit history. Because you cannot do anything in the US if you do not have a credit history. In Europe, we sometimes underestimate how different America really is. Um, I mean, for a navigation company, the, the way traffic works here. So if you want to be successful, step one would be to find someone with knowledge of that city, of that local environment, also have a local network. Just sending a couple Dutch guys over to a city in the US and hoping that they take off. I'm not saying it won't work, but I, th I think it's going to be a lot harder. And so I would also say you need persistency because it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be overnight. It's not going to be after three months and we're going to be able to do this. It's going to be years. Americans are honest with you. They're going to be telling you what they like and don't like. But if you come back the next time and you didn't do anything with it, then they sort of get impatient. I already said the local presence, you know, speak the local language, understand the, the local culture, the local jokes, the local competitiveness between the football team of this city and that city. That, that makes people feel that you're one of them. And that's very important. And show the product. Don't come in with stories and slide where if you really believe in your product show it to them let them touch it feel it play with it but we in the netherlands are a little bit different we can sort of visualize what we think the product should look like in america they just want to see it and that means that you have some time to make significant investments i would not say it's easy but if you can convince them and adapt it you can do really good business the market is big and they have a huge customer base. There's many people here. Cars are important. <laughs>